we have seen that uh, the formula for field strength for the field strength given by little g has this formula the big g mass of the earth divided by r squared which is the r being the distance from the center of the earth so now that we have this formula let's go back and look at uh, our original little g our original acceleration due to gravity of 9.81 meters per second squared so since we have developed this idea uh, of the field strength from starting from our, our 9.81 uh, g this means that in principle in principle i should be able to use this formula to calculate and get back my value of 9.81 how would I do that? Okay, if you think about it, the R here is the distance from the center of the Earth to, to any point uh, away from Earth. But this value of G, this value of G is the acceleration due to gravity when I'm near the surface of the Earth or on the ground, quite near to the ground. We, right, we already understand that if, if I'm very far from Earth, my weight has to become uh, smaller. So therefore, G has to become smaller. So if I'm, if you are on the ground, if you're near the surface of the Earth, the, the R here would be, would just be the radius of the Earth. Okay, if you're on the, the, if you're on the ground, the distance from the center of the Earth is just the radius of the earth so that means that if i if i um, know the radius of the earth and I substitute it into this formula i should be able to my answer should be the same as 9.81 so let's let's check this out Now, um, okay, G, uh, I'm going to try now try to find G using the new formula G M M over over R squared over R squared. Now, so I, I need, but before that, actually, I need to know big M which is the mass of the earth and I need to know the radius of the earth which is the distance from the center of the earth to to the ground that I stand on so what I what I what I just did is that I looked up uh, Google okay and I found some some of these numbers uh, and the mass of the earth okay, let me write this down here the mass of the earth is huge it's actually okay 5.97 times 10 to the power of 24 kilogram that is a huge number now i also need r i'll call it r e for radius of the earth so that that's the r that i want okay that's the r that i want uh let's see where are we okay the number that i get is six three eight zero of a kilometer okay so that's the radius of the earth the radius of earth okay and what else ah i need i need g so let me copy out the gravitational constant again 6.67 10 to the minus 11 a very small number 
I, okay, I shouldn't bother to write down the SI unit. I'll, I'll just I'll just write down SI here to just to to remind me that this is in the SI units and I can just use it in this formula directly. So now that I have these numbers, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready to find to calculate an answer and see if it's actually equal to that. So let's let's do it. I need to substitute this into the G. Six point six seven times ten to the minus eleven times mass of the Earth. That's okay. that's five. 0.97 times 10 to the 24 over r squared. So r is 6380 kilometers. 6380. Now we must not forget to convert kilometer to meters because uh, kilometer is not an SI, <coughs> it's not an SI unit. SI unit is in meters. <coughs> so I must multiply this by a thousand. And and then I must square it. Okay, mustn't forget that. I have to square the whole lot. So this is lots of numbers to calculate, but we can we can just put them in to the calculator. And if we do that, if we do that correctly. The answer would come out to be 9.78 uh, meters per second squared. Or if you remember, we can have we have the option of using Newton per kilogram as well. If you we think of it as a gravitational as a field strength, as a force. Per unit mass, either this or this, it's fine. Okay, so we have we have found our answer, and it's nine point seven eight. Let's compare with the the usual acceleration due to gravity number that we we often see, the nine point eight one. So if you compare the two, they are they're actually not equal, okay, but they are not that far away. 9.81, 9.78, maybe a percent or so difference. Okay, but uh, that's okay. That's not so bad. Uh, we we seem to be doing the right thing. I mean, I, we are not we are not different by a million times. But why why is there a difference? Okay, it's not very um, not very satisfactory that 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 they are they are not exactly the same. Does it mean that there's some error or something wrong with this formula? Actually, not. Now, there's a there's a there's a valid reason. There's a good reason okay, why they're not exactly the same, and the reason is this: the reason has to do with our planets. Now, if you look at Earth, now um. I'm going to try to draw the Earth. Okay, it doesn't look very circular, but maybe that's the whole point. The Earth is not not circular, not spherical. It's not a perfect sphere. Now, let's say that's the North Pole. That's the North Pole, and that's the South Pole. So that's the south pole, and we have the equator down here. Okay, so so the Earth, the Earth rotates this way about an axis that that goes roughly, right from north to south pole. So it, it rotates. Now the thing about the Earth is that it is, as I said, it's not a perfect sphere. It's actually slightly flattened at the pole. 
Now to be very precise, okay, I looked up I looked up these numbers on Google. The radius of the Earth, if you measure from its center to a point on the equator, if you do that, the value uh, the, the, the this radius gives six three eight zero kilometers, which is which is this value here. This is six three eight zero of a kilometer. But if I measure from this point to say the North Pole or maybe South Pole, the distance the distance is actually six three six is 6360 kilometer now if you compare these two they are actually a, a bit different there's a 20 kilometer difference so the north pole is actually 20 kilometers closer to the center of the earth than the equator slightly flattened at, at the poles and what this means what this means is that if i substitute if I substitute uh, this radius, the radius at the North Pole into this equation for the for, for little g, I would get a slightly different answer. And I've I've actually done that. Let me write down my answer. Now, if I so this this calculation was uh, for the equator, right? That that's the equator. So, so this calculation was actually done for the equator. So let me just write this down, just to be very clear. Radius of the Earth and this value that I used here was for the equator. Now that we know the difference, okay. And for the pole, at the pole, at the pole, if we repeat this calculation, we can repeat this calculation. Little, right, little. But the same except that we must change this. Okay, we must change this to uh, the 9360. So, not exactly ditto, so just dot the dot uh, using the corresponding distance. The answer I would get, the answer I would get is actually, and try it out for yourself, 9.84 meters per second squared. So slightly different. Now you can see that whereas just now when I got the 9.78 it's a bit smaller than the 9.81 that we see in uh, textbooks. Now when I do it for the, the North Pole, I get 9.84 which is, which is a little bit bigger than 9.81. So it kind of makes sense. All right, the, the textbook value is 9.81. It's in between these two extremes. And actually, this this uh, standard, if I, I can call it as this standard value of the acceleration due to gravity, is actually an average value, all right, of the the acceleration due to gravity at a, a different places on Earth. Now I don't know exactly what places uh, were measured and, and what are the values taken, but at least. From from this uh, this exercise, we have some understanding, right? We have some understanding now of how this nine point eight one comes about. We understand why it's not exactly the same as the acceleration due to gravity in, on the equator or at the pole, all right? Simply because uh, those two values at the equation and pole are different because distances from the center of the Earth are slightly different, and that. And this also means that the acceleration due to gravity would actually vary from place to place on Earth. Not just from place to place, you know, like uh, not just from one position of the Earth to another, it would change. But also, if you go up to a higher mountain, right, if you go up to the Himalayas, okay, you will actually have a smaller G because it's a bit further from the center of the Earth.